welcome back to another video this your girl lala renee mua and today we got we got this bomb ass sensational wig but anyway y'all we got a wig install hey sis when i tell you sensational But enough of me being all uh, crazy, y'all. This wig did not come like this, okay? Actually had two braids. I put the braids out, put it in about five individual braids, dipped it in some hot water, and bam, this is the curl pattern that we came up with, okay? Um, this is what I was going for, and I am happy now I want to order all the goddamn colors that they got on the list so sensational Sam's beauty can we please get the uh, the mermaid rainbow back in stock please so I can order that thank you so much I appreciate it okay let's see how I got this simple I look also make sure you stay tuned in the video my name is Ariel today yes it is make sure you stay tuned keep checking out this video also don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel all right thanks for watching let's get to it booze makeup look this is the the wig that we're going to be um installing and she looks like this i got her in the color mermaid peacock I did go ahead and I cut some of the lace off off camera already. Um, this came, I ordered this Thursday, August 8th, and she came Saturday, August 10th. So um, I ordered her off of Sam's Beauty and the shipping was pretty fast, okay? It only took, it was two day priority shipping. The party space looks pretty good. I did go in and add some powder in the part already. So, yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to wear this braid all the way through. I might take it out because I actually want to change the curl pattern. It is by Sensational. This is the style Zen, and the color is Mermaid Peacock. This is the ear-to-ear -ear lace, and it has baby hairs. And this is safe up to 350 to 400 degrees their color palette these are all the colors that they have in this wig mermaid lemon mermaid mint frost mermaid peacock which is the one that i have mermaid moonstone mermaid blush denim mermaid romantic lilac mermaid vivid violet mermaid galaxy mermaid cosmopolitan mermaid rainbow which is the one that i wanted but it was out of stock the hidden hidden mermaid galaxy hidden mermaid cosmopolitan and the hidden mermaid rainbow the color is pretty the roots are like that throughout the whole wig yeah so i think it's really pretty and turquoise is my favorite color so we're gonna go ahead and put this baby on so y'all i did not show y'all the cap construction my fault on that um there are no combs on the side tabs you just have that it's like a bar a bendy bar where you can i guess adjust the edge because this is a lace edge and you also have the comb in the back nape area right along with your adjustable straps so i'm just taking my scissors and i'm just going to make zigzag um cut the lace off in zigzag motions not straight across and I'm going to take my freezing spray and lay my edges down first you guys I noticed that um, once I did that without the blow dryer because I was being lazy um, my side tabs was not sticking so I had to go and get the blow dryer so they could stick and it can dry fast
So I'm taking my rat tail comb and I'm going to comb down the baby hairs that were already on this wig. They were pretty long. So I'm just going to cut those just a little bit because the kind of look I'm going for, um, I want my baby hairs to be extra. Don't come for me for my baby hairs, y'all, okay? Please don't because this is how I like, I like my baby hairs to look like this. One minute, they might be a little natural and the natural. The next minute, they might be just extra because that's me you know every to each his own everybody you know people don't like baby hairs but i like i like baby hairs you know so yeah you see my little swoop going on i got my baby hair swoops and um i don't care if this screams wig because if anybody know me know that my natural hair color is not purple and turquoise so just enjoy the video okay but you know if you want to do your baby hairs like that you can if not you if you want some you know something a little natural then that's fine also but i i just like my baby hairs to be popping we got to be slicked down fried dyed and laid to the motherfucking side you feel me so i'm just gonna do a 360 for you guys so you can see the back of the wig i did not brush the back i just pulled all the hair to the front and bam so we hopping right into this makeup look, you guys. I'm starting off in my Profusion Festival palette. And I'm going to take the color Wavy and I'm going to place that on my outer V, blending it out as I go. I'm then going to take the color Rockin' and place that like Galaxy Midnight Purple shade right next to Wavy. I just want to say to all my melanated goddesses, don't let nobody make you feel uncomfortable for choosing the hair color that you would like to wear, okay? If that's what you want to do, then by all means, do it, honey. I'm here for it all. So as I'm placing those colors down, you see me fusing those colors together by blending them in with my blending brush, going in with the peach shade out of the matte book, and that's going to be my third color. Then I'm going to use the yellow in that same palette and the darkest blue to darken up my outer V. I already added my liquid liner and my lashes off camera right along with my foundation y'all already know this is not a makeup tutorial I'm basically just showing you how I did a colorful eye look no cut crease no nothing so I'm just adding some more color to my face bronzing up my skin and I'm using y'all already know that brown shade out of my favorite palette and I'm going to blend out my concealer and place my air spun on there to bake as well and then we're going to get into this wig if you guys want to know the foundation that i use is the maybelline superstay in the color 330 warm sun for my eyebrows i used a um gel liner and it was a retractable pencil it's by revlon um, i'm not using that anymore I'm going to just put that aside because I noticed that I mean even though it's like a 24 hour stay and I just wanted to try and see how it was gonna look if I did my brows with it um, unfortunately um, you got to be very quick with that product so I'd rather just stick to like the gel brow products and the you know the little tubes so I'm just taking that eyeshadow and that's closest to my skin tone and I'm just going to place some of that powder onto my lace and onto my part.
Okay, so I know y'all want to see how it looks without the two cute cornrows on the side. So I'm just going to unravel it and take that down. And when I did, the hair got so much fuller. And I really, really liked that little wave pattern that I had. So I wanted to define it even more. That's why I put the five individual braids in there, boiled it in hot water. I did not let it dry fully because I wanted to show you guys how it looked. This wig, I could give it about an 8 out of a 1 to 10 score because of the tangling and the shedding by being a silky unit. However, that was the only issues that I had with this wig. As far as my side tabs laying down, all you had to do was get your got to be freezing spray and your blow dryer and you're good to go. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm super impatient. Like, I could not wait to unravel these braids. Okay, I was so excited. Let me tell you, sis, baby. I cannot wait till they come out with some new colors. Like, a peach and gray would be so bomb. Oh my goodness. So bomb. So, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to create me some sideburns because I noticed when the hair was pulled into those cornrows, I didn't have that option. So now that I do have that option, I'm going to make it look even more bomb. You can also style this wig in a high ponytail, a bun, or a low ponytail, or you can even put the cornrows right back in. So I'm just going to take my got to be gel and I'm going to slick those sideburns down. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Tell me what you think of this wig. Don't forget to share this video. And thank you guys so much for watching.